150,000 kills on Loba, of which 40,000 are with the wingman. That's what it takes to be the number one Loba in Apex. And he's here to share with you his gameplay, stats, tips and tricks, settings, and teach you how to be the ultimate Loba. And he also has the best Pred badge in all of Apex. I gotta show off my 420 badge, I'm so proud of it. The number one Loba is abysmal. He has over 150,000 kills on Loba. I'm sure you can guess what his favorite weapons are with the R9 and Wingman being ridiculously high levels. 40,000 kills on the Wingman and 28,000 on the R99. Ridiculous. Soon I'll show you all of his stats, his ridiculously high KD, all of his settings, his mouse and keyboard settings and everything else. But first, let's talk to him about Loba. And make sure you go drop him a follow on all his socials. He's an amazing guy. They'll be in the pinned comment below. First question, Loba's perks. Which of her perks are the best and why? I'd say probably the attack height and range over alt range. I mean, you don't, I don't see a point having a bigger alt. You got enough loot in that area anyways. Plus the the extra range on it just is just too helpful. Like no question about it better than that. The purple one though, if you're a loot goblin, I guess you can take the extra item from black markets. I've never needed that. I think having a lower cooldown in your attack is much more helpful than that. Yeah, like your ability to like reposition and, and you know work fights and move around the map is like so much better. Yeah, because five seconds is huge for a cooldown. There's just really no need to have three items from your own. Makes me feel like they should change it. Like they shouldn't, those two perks on the right are useless in my opinion. They should probably like change him. This could be an interesting question as you're one of the highest kill mouse and keyboard players in all of Apex. Is there a certain set of weapons that you think are the best for Loba? Ones that suit her the most? I've never really thought like that, no, honestly. I mean, I, I kind of just play whatever I have fun with. I mean, I vibe that completely. But for me, usually uh, Wingman has always been my go-to since day one. Like secondary is kind of, Kind of whatever, 99, flat, Havoc, sometimes a PK. Oh, interesting that you're not a massive shotgun user as a mouse and keyboard player. But I guess Loba isn't always about super close quarters combat. But on that note, what do you think is the best playstyle for Loba? Meant to be played, I'd say she's probably like in a more like ranked setting. She should be the one getting angles, like off angles. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, she has a tactical to get back if she's in trouble, or even to get there to take the fast off angles to create space. Yeah. I mean, I do play like that sometimes. It it always depends on the situation, but I'm always using it to like chase someone down, so. <laughs> <laughs> I get that and respect that totally. Now, looking at Loba, are there any buffs or nerfs that you think she needs or that you should be given to her? Or do you think she's in a good spot at the moment? Like realistic buffs? Realistic buffs, yeah, realistic ones, yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, I wish she uh, enters passive. Quick note, here he's talking about Alter's passive, the one where you can loot boxes through walls from a distance away and take one item from each box. My recording screwed up, so yeah, apologies. I mean, her passive is, it can be helpful, but it really isn't. It really isn't. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I mean, Alter's one kind of like thinking about it. It suits Loba so well as well. You know, situationally better. Yeah, you just use it constantly. But uh, one thing I've always wanted was a faster animation for pulling out your gun after your tactical. Now, this is a pretty interesting question. I'm not sure if I can think any off the top of my head, but are there any legends out there that counter Loba directly? I'm not sure if there is. I honestly don't think there's like really a counter to her. I mean, you could just play Fuse. That's a counter, right? Yeah, fair. <laughs> that's the worst feeling, dude, when you put your alt down and just some random Fuse cube comes in and destroys just it. Knuckle classes it instantly. Yeah. yeah. What do you think about her alt? Are you, the, are you the type of person that picks it up after you're done with it or do you just leave it there and then all? Oh, I've always left it. Sharing is caring, you know? Sharing is caring? I buy that. Yeah, I buy that. <laughs> Loba's heirloom, though. What do you think about that heirloom? Do you like heirloom? You know, it could be biased, but I think it's an S tier heirloom. Yeah? You like it? Okay. Mainly because the animation's like, if you spin it just right, you do the timing. Oh my God, it's so satisfying. I was going to say, I, I love the animations on it. It's so nice. And it's like yeah. one of like the few heirlooms these days that isn't massive either. Now, the most important question, if there were three tips that you were going to give a Loba player, whether they're new or experienced, what would those three tips be? But before we get to his biggest tips and tricks for Loba and how to improve on her, let's have a look at his stats. He has 150,000 kills on Loba. That is a crazy amount, 180,000 in total. That's a lot of kills. He's got the 420 Pred badge. Honestly, one of the best things I've ever seen. I am so jealous. I wish I had it. 117 level wingman and R9, his favorite guns. Great to see the OG weapons. 
40,000 kills on the wingman. Number two wingman kills in the entire world. Only the number one Wraith is beating him with about 44,000. 28,000 on the R9, absolutely crazy. Then if we move over to his overall stats, you can see he has 11,000 wins in only 38,000 games. That is basically a 30% win rate, about that, absolutely ridiculous. His overall KD is just above six. 9,000 is his highest ever damage with almost 50 million damage in total. 35 is his highest ever kill game. That is actually crazy high. A 19 win streak, ridiculously long. And then, of course, he's showing off his 420 season in Pred, which is absolutely insane. 3,000 games played a rank to that season, 10,000 kills. Almost got a 20 bomb in Pred lobbies. Absolutely ridiculous. Now, back to his best tips and tricks. Damn, this is something I should have thought about. <laughs> I guess one main thing, like I was saying earlier, the she's really good at repositioning. So I think it's really important as a Loba, like that's your role to get a either height or a different an off angle because you can do it so easily with your thing you just teleport there yeah no 100 it's, it's your job to like make the other team think about things make the other team move and worry about you on a different angle you to get the opening damage like that so other, others can push don't spend so much time looting your all there's some lobas that like i watch them and they like play the game around their all like all they do is loot they'll have like all the loot they need and they'll still just keep going around trying to like alt and get some more loot it's like that's just wasting time at that point. Cause like halfway through the game, usually I have everything. I, I don't even use my ult anymore. Like the only time I'll use it is if I need cover, which is rarely, but. And do you use it to block doors and stuff much as well? I don't really do that that much, no. Yeah, it is a good tip. You can block doors with it. Use it as temporary cover if you're in the open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I do that with Watson's ult, so I know that feeling, yeah. You know, it's nice. You can actually do movement off her ult. It's super nice. You can hit little super glides off it and nice, yeah. And then you should be able to like mantle it and climb it. Yeah, you should be able to mantle Loba's thing or wall jump off of it. That'd be sick. And that should be so nice. Yeah, because like there's so much cool stuff you can do with Watson's ult. You can do all movement text off it and you can do like climb cancel animation so you can peek over the top of it with like shotguns constantly and fire. That'd be so cool if you do that with Loba's shop. Like it has less HP, but it'd be nice. 100%. Uh, what about for a tactical? Are there any tips to use in a tactical well? Because uh, it is very buggy. Is there anything you have to make sure you do correctly? I mean, it's just very situational, you know, sometimes you need to throw it to get like, you know, 20 feet ahead of you. It's not even that far to get behind cover or um, taking height right above you. I guess maybe don't be afraid to use a tactical even for like small. Yeah, it's not all. It's not always about getting as far as possible. Yeah, so I guess like canceling her tactical early to like, you know, just get like just to break the line of sight, get color to heal, get distance. It's not always letting it go as far as you can. Also, this could be another buff. I'm pretty sure it works like this, but Loba's has just a normal cooldown, right? It doesn't matter how far you go. For the oh, so what I've always said. Make it like Pathfinders, right? Yeah. Do you think that? Do you think that'd be a good buff? I think uh, if they were to do something like that, they would remove. They would make it one of the perks. You know, the minus five second cooldown. They would just change that to make it more of a distance based. I think that'd be a great change for it, though. Personally, it would just make sense for her too. Yeah, it's crazy that it's not. Yeah. I mean, if you had to rate Loba on her current, like, where she currently is in the game, I guess for a ranked setting, where would you rate her on, like, a tier list? For ranked? Um, I'd probably, it'd probably be between B and A, a B plus. I think that's fair. She definitely has a spot, but, like, it's very, like, uh, set to that person's playstyle. Yeah, but for pubs, as tier, you know? <laughs> Feels. Get your loot quick. Go kill people. Right, well, looking back, like, a, I mean, in past Apex, do you think there was a certain stage where Loba's like been her strongest or is that like at the moment? I feel like ever since they added the perk system, she's been at her strongest. Like from what I remember, I can't really remember that much, but I don't think they ever really like buffed her since she came out. No, I can't think of any major buffs. Yeah, all they did was like fix a bunch of bugs with her. Yeah, she's probably at her strongest this season. Do you think there are any legends that pair best with her? You, you know, you'd like to have on your team? Not so much as pairing, but like, I guess selfishly, I'd always want a conduit. I mean, she's just too strong with that heal. Well, this was a change that was made a while ago. What do you think of the change where everybody, all supports could craft banners and it wasn't just Loba? Do you, th do you think that was a good change? Wait, was it just Loba at some point? Yeah, I mean, am I, I, I mean, I could be wrong here. I'm pretty sure it was just Loba for a while that could craft banners. And then they changed it I'm usually wrong. Supports. I don't remember anything. <laughs> I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty confident in that. I'm pretty confident in that. Do you think it's good that all um, supports can craft banners then? Yeah, I, I think that was a good change. I do think for that, the whole crafting banners thing, I don't think you should be able to craft it if your support is dead. I agree completely, yeah. In a more like ranked setting. Does Loba have any like major weaknesses or major flaws to her? Um, I'm not going to say that, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to make a joke about her fat ass, so she has a big hitbox, but I don't really think so. Besides 
her Q still or her tactical still bugs out, even though they've spent seasons and seasons trying to fix it, which they did for the most part, but it's, it still bugs out a lot. I do wish uh, one change they make with their tactical is um, whatever you set, like, you know, you throw your Q out the second you press it again, it drops. I think whenever it lands on anything, like any object, it should just teleport you there. Not like on a flat surface, but... Oh, because it like slides down onto the flat surface. Yeah. Oh, true. But I don't know how good for the game that would be or how people would like exploit it to like get to places you're not supposed to get to. So probably not a good idea. Yeah, it would definitely would be nice. The things you could do with it. Like, I mean, I, I don't know if you remember any of these, but looking back like at Lobra in the past, have there been any like massive bugs she's had or massive glitches that she's had in the past that you can think of? Oh, I can definitely think of that. Yeah. She's always had a problem with her tactical since launch. I mean, yeah, tacticals always had issues. Like, I mean, what issues have there been? You would throw it even on flat surface and it would not do anything. You just have your finger up and you can't do anything about it. You have to wait. You couldn't throw it through windows at, a, at one point, I think, right, as well. I'm not sure. You know, this is, that's one thing that's always confused me because I feel like they kept going back and forth on like making it able to go through windows, like on the world's edge, especially. And I could have sworn there were some buildings on world's edge last season that I always went through. And I, I started playing this season, I can't go through them. So I don't know if I'm tripping or they changed it again. I have no idea. Has she had any like major ones though? I feel like almost all her glitches and stuff have always been towards her um, towards her tactical not working properly. I think that was really just the main thing. I think it's still in the game for alt where you can locate an item if you like ping it and then do a special thing with the shop. You can find one of uh, where the item is. Yeah, you, you ping the item and then you hold uh, your ping button on it and it puts a little line and like points it directly to where it's at. I think that's largely about like all the like other like glitches or like, bugs or anything she's had though. Yeah. One thing, her alt is kind of buggy when you're placing it though. It's kind of annoying. There are like a lot of, especially buildings, like if the roof is just slightly too low, you can't place it and you have to like find the right spot. Sometimes a tiny bush would block it, you can't place it. Do you think Loba's a noob friendly legend? Like if you were a new, a new player in Daypack, do you think Loba's a good legend to pick up or do you think she's more of like, you know, an advanced legend, I guess you could say? I feel like if you're really new to apex or just brs in general because you have to loot i don't think loba is a good choice because you should probably learn how to loot instead of just taking like the, you know the simple skipping the actual uh, core gameplay yeah i agree with that because then you'll like you'll you'll crutch on the alt like me you know that's not good <laughs> yeah 100 percent. <laughs> do you think she's more of a mouse and keyboard legend or a controller legend or it just doesn't matter uh with loba i don't think it matters at all unlike like octane and stuff like octane yeah you can be really good on controller with them but i think octane is really good MK yeah, character. It exaggerates yeah. your movement. I was gonna say same with Watson, you know, placing fences is a lot easier on mouse and keyboard compared to controller. But I think with Loba it doesn't really matter at all. Only thing with roller is just her Q, you know. I don't know I don't play on roller, so I don't know, but I would assume it's a little like harder to throw it more accurately right away. I mean I guess it could take longer to loot her her Loba old as well. A little bit. Oh true. You have to stand still and loot. But what about yourself? Why did you originally start maining Loba and grinding Loba? Back in season four, because she came out of season five, I was a red main and uh, he was not a good character back then. So I spent all season, got like 9k kills on him and just I needed, I need a new character, like literally anything new. And then they teased Loba, they showed something about like teleporting and I got really excited because I've always wanted a character with like movement, you know. And back then I had, my buddies were always playing Octane and Path, so. You're, you're a little bit jealous sitting there playing Revenant. Yeah. Right when Loba came out and that's basically all I started playing because for one, I was never the type to like like looting. I usually just like loot a couple things and then start fighting. She just complements my playstyle really well. Because her teleport just is good for chasing, aggressive gameplay. It's good for running away. It's good for everything. But mainly because uh, I do not like looting. So it does help. <laughs> I mean, so when it comes to like your kill grind, though, you, you said earlier that you don't really, you know, you don't really kill grind anymore, it's just you play and you just get the kills because you play it anyway. Was there a reason that you kill grinded so hard originally, or was it always just like this? I've never really, I don't know, everyone always, you know, calls a kill grinders, pub stompers, all that. Okay. I never really like, you know, focus, like I need to get so many kills, whatever. No, I, I just, I don't know, I just play for fun. I think that's the best way to play, 100%. I've always been like that in games where I play like one character because, I don't know, I, I like one character and keep playing it. I vibe that completely. I mean, and you're not just a pub player either. You played ranked a bunch recently. You got pred, I think, in season 17. Yeah, technically, I got pred in season three, but you know, we don't we don't count that. I mean, I've people barely count two season and three, 17. But you don't really so, count those. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel that completely. I mean, when it comes to it, anyway, ranked is just like once you get to masters and almost it's just playtime. Whoever plays the most gets pred, basically. And whoever has the three star. I do want to go for pred again, but at the moment, I, I just don't have any time. I got like three days to play a week. 
Well, I was going to ask, do you have any other plans for the future? So, I mean, maybe you go and Fred again at some point. Anything else you want to do? Just keep chilling and enjoying the game? Uh, besides that, no, just keep pubbing, having fun till a new game comes out that takes over Apex. <laughs> Cheers. I mean, I mean, I, actually, I, we spoke about this earlier, but I'll ask again. If um, if you had to change Legends and you couldn't play Loba again, who would you play? If I couldn't play Loba, my top pick would always be Path. Yeah, he's so fun. Is that just because he's so fun? He's just the most fun character to play in this game. You could do so much with his grapple and his zipline ult. Yeah, I agree completely. It's so fun. I mean, I already know the answer to this question as well, but if you could only use two weapons forever, what would they be? Two weapons forever is a wing 99. Yeah, that's fair. What do you think about the R9 at the moment? Is it a terrible weapon? Uh... I don't think it's terrible. I mean, it, they made it like a little harder to control recoil, but it still shreds. Yeah, and it's so satisfying. You don't think like other SMGs are just better than it now? I used to, um, after they did the first, you know, couple nerfs to the 99, I always ran the car, but then they nerfed the car. And after testing, like there's really no damage difference. The R99, R99 has like more recoil than the car, I believe. It's like, the car is just not, I don't know. I don't think it's better. The Volt though is, Volt's always been a decent gun. It's super easy to control recoil, but I've always been the type to like like fast firing weapons, like a vector in a battlefield or COD or whatever. I'm sorry, I gotta I gotta show off my 420 badge. I'm so proud of it. Let's slap that on there. It was so it was so funny dude. We were like playing like literally to the last game before they shut servers down. Oh, you actually do have the 420 and, badge. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were uh, I like constantly refresh you know the page to see like how many points I need, how many points I need. I was we we're on the last game. Yeah. And I'm like I. Ha I'm pretty sure I need like sixth place here and I jumped off the map, came back the next day, I was 420. I'm like, Oh, that's so cool. I was actually having this conversation with one of my mates the other day because he was like around the 400s mark, I think as well. And I was like, man, it'd be so cool to have like either like 750, 420 or like 69. It'd be so nice to have one of those, but it would be so hard to get it because like it would literally be like it's just luck or like you have to perfectly time it like you did. It would come down to the last game. Because there was uh, like 30 so cool. people in the leaderboard that were like, you know, like 30 points apart. So yeah, it was yeah. kind of luck, but I also, I don't know. It was both. Oh, that's actually so cool. I love that. But my other goal is to get a 69 pred. That'd be my perfect. life would be complete. Imagine having like <laughs> 420, 69. That'd be so cool. And finally, here we go. We have his settings, all his mouse and keyboard settings, video settings, audio, absolutely everything you could possibly want. Uh, he does have a couple of weird settings there, not gonna lie. But thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure you go to him a follow on all his socials. Definitely go check out his streams. He's an amazing guy, awesome gamer, ridiculously cracked. Thank you again for watching.